I hope it is visible now. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. So I I been use. Hello. Is my PPT visible to everyone? Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes, visible. Hello. Yes. Yes, visible. Hello. So I use basically an AMA platform that is a book tech for doing an tally accounting. So while using this book tech platform, uh, the read, this platform basically read an uh, AI reading capacity where the data entry work has been reduced as AI automates all the tally ledger name along with the amount against each ledger by reading the invoice uploaded as well as duplicate bill are easily identified. So in this scenario, basically as an accountant or as a user, I don't need to write any ledger name or type anything. Everything is being performed by the platform itself. I just as a user, I have to upload the invoices of the vendor or the sales invoices. Platform itself will read the entire invoices and based on that, wherever the TDS is applicable, GST input credit is there, which ledger the tally has to select, it will automatically read the invoice and based on that, it will automatically select the ledger. So user has to just review whatever the information AI has fetched and based on that, user has to save that particular entry and based on that, it's easily passed on to the tally. So I will walk through as well the case, but before that, I will just give you how the tally accounting I'm using uh, through AI. So basically my clients are geographically distributed and many of them have virtual teams. Booktech has helped me to collect data from them seamlessly using email capture, mobile capture, file upload. Due to AI reading, the client also doesn't have to enter much of the data because AI, uh, because the platform easily capture the, all the data through reading. Due to AI, Booktech is also learning from my pattern of voucher entry, which is helping to reduce the data entry time. The GST detail are auto page as mentioned earlier by reading the invoice and TDS is also auto calculated by reading the invoice. All the works get synced with the tally along with the web link to trace the back the source document. So I will walk through you the case, how exactly the doc platform is reading the document and how it is passing in the tally. So I will just go to the platform. This is the platform. I hope everyone is able to see the platform. So I go, let's say I want to upload a sample. I will upload a sample invoice. I will go here. I will select a sample invoice. Let's say this is an invoice of particular vendor. I will go here. I will click on the upload. So once I click on the upload, now it will be fetching the data through AI. So now it has fetched all the data. If you see, this is the invoice on the left hand side, which I have uploaded. And on the right hand side, if you see all the information has been fetched by the platform itself, just like the date, bill number, total amount, the party name, what is the amount, as well as what is the CGST, SGST or IGST, as well as it also recommend what is the TDS applicable on this particular invoice. So the AI has reduced a tremendous type of account and where the volume is human, too much. As well as now this is the basic information. Post on that, AI also recommend us that which tally ledger I have the, the in this particular bill has to be posted. So just like the invoice was for KNG and associated, the vendor creditor's name. So tally has said that creditor may KNG, KNG associate has to be credited. It has also credited by the amount. It is pertaining to professional fees. So the platform has selected that it is a debit professional fees by this amount. Tally itself has suggested that it should go, GST has to go in the input. So platform has suggested that, yeah, it is an input. So input GST, 18%. So this on that platform has recommended that for this particular snap bill, this should be the entry. In case if you want to rectify, in case if you want to modify, we can modify. But in many cases, the platform suggests the correct entry. Our user has to just save this entry. Once user saves the entry, it has a desktop app where we just have to click the data of this platform to the tally. Once that data is synced, all the entry which are passed here on the platform that will automatically come to the tally. I will show you how that entry comes in the tally as well. But before that, I will just walk through you that what all information this snapshot, this platform has captured. Date, invoice number, bill number, 
total amount as well as it has captured the GST number as well. Because nowadays we require the invoice wise matching as well, where B to B to A report to B is report is coming. So through this, the data this platform is particularly capturing all the GST information as well, TGS information as well. And this is the ledger entry which has Talia's uh, platform has recommended to us. It is accounting narration as well. And this way we click on the save. Once we save, it has a sync option. Once you sync this entry, this is the way I have just given another snapshot because uh, because of the limitation of the time. This is the way the entry comes in the tally to the BookTech platform. If you see at the narration, this entry has entered using BookTech platform. When the entry has exported, what time it has exported, it has complete lag log. I don't need to pass this entry manually. It has come this entry through that platform, which has reduced a lot of time. So I don't need to calculate GST ledger, which ledger, which expense ledger, which creditor name, reference number, date. Everything has come from the platform. And on the platform, the platform reads the invoice. I just need to review whatever information platform has fetched. And based on that, I need to save the entry. So this is the one of the use case, basically, uh, of the platform which I am using, which is an AIML platform. And in my day-to-day -day life, where the, we have geographical client located and sharing of invoices is a huge problem from them so it has helped me a lot as well as as an accountant it also helped me a lot because i don't need to pass and one by one entry i just have to review what platform has based information wherever it requires correction i do the correction but in 99.99 percent .99 it has faced correct information i can say one or two scenario it may not page <coughs> <coughs> due to some technical reason otherwise in maximum scenario it has page correct information and this is the way it is get it is get tracked so this is a book tech platform where it is an aiml platform it is uh, developed by third party and we have taken the subscription and we are using for our own office purposes and we have been using for more than i think uh, two years for this platform so this is the way the ai is helping us in the day-to-day -day transaction because nowadays as well this is the one of the scenario it also import all the bank transaction as well from the uh, net banking so we just need to click on the i will also showcase that as well so i just need to go into banking and banking i will select the bank the last basically. two minutes left yeah so i will click on the banking here basically and then i just need to click the net banking detail it will fetch all the bank statements basically by typing all my net banking login ID and password and all the bank transaction will come here i don't need to import any excel i don't need to import any pdf i just have to type the login id means the user has to mention the login id and password all the bank transaction will come into this platform through this platform the platform will recommend that this account should be debited this account should be credited i will review that transaction it will come directly to my tally so if you want to see how the bank entry sh being shown here i will show you that as well uh, so this is an example so this is a bank entry which has also come from the back book tech so if you see the entry added by the book tech platform what is the export date what is the time and how does it reflect in the tally? I don't need to select the bank account number or anything here. Everything is come from here. So that's it from my side. So and for the, all the chartered accountant firms, it's my recommendation means as the transaction is getting increased day by day, we'll have to be synchronized with the user of more and more AI in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you once again, ICI, for giving me the opportunity.